Alright, so if you guys have downloaded PyCharm or if you've decided to stick with Idle and you're ready to get started, let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up PyCharm. It's the icon right here. Now if you're using Idle, you can just search Idle and... Now this gets installed by default when you install ArcGIS, so you don't have to go out and download anything for this. It should just be installed. Uh, when you're in here, you would just want to right-click, File, New File and here's where you would start coding everything that we're going to be doing in this it's the same thing everything should run the exact same okay now in PyCharm what we need to do is we need to create a new project so since we already have a directory structure we want to turn that whole structure into a project so you do that by opening and just browsing to wherever you have that stuff stored I have it stored right here in tutorial Okay, so that just opens up a new project with all of our data right here. So tutorials, um, like the root folder, and then in here we have everything else. Now this was, I just made this earlier. I was messing around, scared of that. So now we can't do anything because there's no Python files in here, so we have to create a Python file. And by, you can do that just by right-clicking. I'm going to put it in this scripts folder. Right-clicking, new Python file. I'm just going to name it GIS script. Now one more thing before we get started. I think since I have two versions of Python installed, it's going to by default use the newer one. So I'm just going to change that to 2.7. Now you don't have to do this unless you know you have another version installed. But I have to do this. Uh, just switch it to 2.7. Okay. Alright, now we're ready to get started. Um, so let's just do some basic stuff in Python. Let's just print print hello. So to do that, you type the keyword print and in quotes, hello. So forgive me if you guys know how to do this already. I just want to try to explain as much as I can to people that have never programmed in Python before or in general. Uh, also, I'm going to recommend some tutorials if you wanted to learn some of this stuff on your own. Um, the guy's name is Bucky and his YouTube channel is The New Boston. I highly recommend his videos. I've learned a lot from him. He has a, a Python tutorial playlist. Uh, let me just pull it up real fast. This is his YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. He's a great teacher. I've learned a lot from him. But that's just if you if you wanted to learn some stuff beforehand. It's not necessary. Alright, so this will start, this will print hello. Now to run something in PyCharm, just right click this and hit run GIS script. Now after you've run it one time, you can just hit this play button. Now for this first script, I'll also run that in idle just so you guys can get an idea of how it's the same in there. File, new file. So we're just going to print hello. Now run, run module. Have to save it first, so I'm just going to save this in the same spot. Tutorial scripts. Let's call, just call this idle script. Alright, and it ran hello. Alright, so that's how you print hello. Um, hello, since it's a, a string, it needs to be in quotes if you wanted to print, or if you wanted to do something with number, or we could just print six. You don't have to put it in quotes. Alright, so now <laughs> enough of that. Let's get started with actually using ArcGIS. So Python uses a, a special module for ArcGIS. It's called ArcPy. Um, the philosophy of Python kind of is being very bare bones. So what it, when you download Python, it, it just gives you the bare necessities, and then you build upon that as you need. So if we need certain functions that do scripting things for ArcGIS, we, we download that package, that module, and this it's called ArcPy. And to download modules or to use them, you need the, the keyword import. So we're going to import ArcPy. Now this just gives us access to all of the ArcPy functions. So 
some of these functions, for example, are going to be buffer, select by, location, clip, all those, basically all the tools. You can access them now in Python because we have this ArcPy module. So I thought it'd be a good idea just for the first tutorial just to list the data that we're working with in our, our folder. So let's just, we just want to list this data. So to do that, we have to set the environment workspace. Now this is just where like where we're working. And to do that we use the keyword arcpy.env.workspace equals r and then in quotes we're going to put a, a uh, an address like a path to where that folder is. Now this r in front here that just means treat everything as a raw string. Now why I need to do that is because when you work with file paths in Python um, the backslashes have special meanings. They, um, uh, they're escape characters. Um, so it's, it just messes up um, paths, directory paths sometimes. So it's always a good idea to put that R beforehand when you're working with paths. Now there's a couple different ways you can get the paths. You can just go actually go to the path. Uh, we want this data. We want this to be our workspace. So you can just right click copy address this text that's a good way or in arc you can go here data and then just copy this link right here copy and then we're gonna paste that in here alright so now the, the program the script knows where its home base is where where it should look for files where it should do things where it should put outputs stuff like that um, so now let's just list those features so we need to make a variable we'll call it uh, feature list. We're going to set it equal to some function arcpy dot. I believe I have it pulled up here. It's list feature class. So this website's great. It has all all the syntax. This is you'll be spending a lot of time here just look, like copying syntax and looking at parameters. But we're just going to right click and copy that arcpy dot list features and then parentheses. Alright, so now if we were to run this, nothing's going to happen because we created this variable and set it equal to this, but we didn't do anything. We need we didn't do anything, so we're just gonna need to print that out. So we can print feature list. Now this should go through, take a look at the workspace and return or just give us all of the feature classes there. Alright, so as you can see, it returned the two shapefiles. Um, Alright, this tutorial is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it off now, but 